Hello everyone, welcome to this video. So here it is required to design a hardware module to compute the sum of first n terms from natural number series 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 like this by implementing the data path and control path separately. Here it is asked to implement uh, the module which computes sum of n terms. So we need to implement data path and control path separately. The operation will take the input numbers of n terms that is to be added and produces the sum of the sum as the output. So here they have given n is equal to 4 means the sum will be start with 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 means n is equal to 4 means we need to add 1 2 3 4. So the total sum will be 10 at the beginning of the registers n will be loaded with the integer value n and a counter C and register R will be initialized to 0. At each iteration the counter will be there. So the value of that counter C will be added to the value of register R and obviously res result will be stored back to register R. So R will be holding the sum at, at each, uh, each iteration and the counter value will be incremented by 1. So process will continue as long as C is less than n. So n is equal to 4, it will take 4 iterations and at the end R will be containing the result. So the total sum will be containing in R at the end means after 4 iterations when C is equal to 4 and the counter okay and then the data path will be consisting of two 8-bit registers that is n and r and 8-bit counter that is c an 8-bit adder and 8-bit comparator the comparator takes two numbers n and uh, c as inputs and outputs uh, c l t n is equal to 0 if c is less than n otherwise c l t n is equal to 1 so the control path will be uh, implementing a FSM with state S0 to S3, four state, uh, states are there and generate the following active high control signals in the synchronization with positive and negative uh, edge of the clock. In both positive and negative edge, uh, the control system is going to be sensitive. Here load N indicating load input data register N at positive edge of the clock, load R in the sense load R register with addition result at parts positive edge of the clock clear signal clear the both the registers n and r to 0 when positive edge of the clock and clear counter c at negative edge of the clock here the registers are going to be operated at positive edge and the counter will be operating at negative edge of the clock and increment counter c at negative edge and stop uh, computing the comparator output cn cltn when it is 1 and an external uh, signal start will be will start the division operation the register n is loaded with the input provided through common data input data underscore in so we need to write the verilog module to implement the component hardware units and use them in building blocks uh, to design the data path and control path so here they have given uh, some series data path with the name and uh, these are all the input and output variables for the data path and also for the control path they have given Inside some series data path module uh, declares wire by naming NWO, RWO and CWO we need to use uh, and also they have given to access the co content of register N, R and C respectively. Okay, So here is the code you can observe this is what my top module is the data path sum underscore series underscore data path is the name these are all the inputs required and the output. So load N, load R, clear, uh, increment C, clock are the inputs. So 8 bit data, data in signal and output is CLT n and uh, I need to instantiate PIPO1, PIPO2 module and uh, CNTR module and add as well as equal Z that is comparator. Okay. So here is the code uh, we need to follow uh, for PIPO1. Okay. If clear, NW will be uh, 0. If it is not clear, if load n is there, the data will be loaded to nw and uh, it will be operating at positive edge of the clock. Similarly, rw, uh, uh, here you can observe output register rw, inputs are clear load r clock. If clear again, rw will be 0, else if load r is 1, z will be rw. 
okay so this is the code and uh, here you can observe okay so nw and cw are the inputs cltn is the output uh, assign cltn is equal to nw and cw are equal if these two are equal cntn is equal to 1 okay and then if uh, and then module uh, control uh, clear inc clock are the inputs here it will be operating at the negative edge of the clock if clear cw is equal to 0 else if increment c so we need to increment by 1 that's why cw is equal to cw plus 1 and then for the addition purpose module add um, it is going to add cw and rw so two 8 bit uh, registers cw and rw register 7 is to 0 z that is output output will be z here and this is the control path some series control path they have given the module definition and here input output declarations are done and here are the four states s not s1 s2 s3 so i have taken uh, 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 and 0 1 1 and depending on the states we need to uh, if start signal is 1 state will be s1 and uh, uh, at s1 the next state will be s2 this will be operating at positive edge of the clock at every positive edge of the clock it is going to the next state okay and always at state if s0 is the state begin load n is equal to 0 load r is equal to 0 clear 1 inc is equal to 0 and similarly depending on the states we need to uh, assign load at state 1 load n is equal to 1 and at state 2 load r is equal to 1 and we need to stop at the next state when state 3 so here is uh, the control unit code and I am going to save this and then I am compiling it. So it is passing all the four public test cases. Uh, all are passed. Now let me check the private test cases. I am going to submit this. All the private test cases also passed. This is how we can uh, solve this particular assignment.